problem 11, it says simplify all this. So I must distribute through here and distribute through here. So it gives me 10 in, take away six, add two in, subtract four, plus distribute through here also. Six in, two times one is two. Now I just have to put together things that are the same. So let's see what's the same. I got a 10 in plus two in plus six in. So what is all that together? 10 plus two is 12 plus two. Six more is 18 in. Now I need to put together lose six, lose four, gain two. Well, if you lose six and then lose four, you've lost 10. And then you gain two of it back. You're still in the whole eight. So it's 18 in minus eight. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next problem, distribute through. Again, that'll be 10x. Five times one is minus five. And notice this is a negative three distribute through. Negative three times a two x is negative six x. And here's where it's tricky. Negative three times the negative one. What's a negative times negative? Positive. Putting together x's, we get 16 x's. Lose five, gain three of it back, you're still in the whole two. So 16 x minus two for number 12. Only put together things that are the same. So I have a four ab squared. I can only put those together with other ab squareds. Do you see any other ab squareds? Uh, yep, I see one right here, that's it. Four plus 11 is 15 ab squareds. Now, I have uh, two ab. Those will only go with other ab's, which I have right here, five ab's. So that's how many? Seven ab's. And finally, we have this guy, AB cubes, and there are some AB cubes. Six AB cubes plus three AB cubes gives me nine of those AB cubes. That is as much as you can put together. The other pieces are not like terms, so you cannot put them together. Fourteen, solve for n. Okay, well, move all the variables one side, move all numbers to the other. So I start off with moving the smaller variables, what I like to do. This gives me single n minus 1 equals 19. I now move my number over, I add 1, add 1, I see that n is worth 20. Okay, before I move things, I combine like terms. I gather all my trash together. So on the left, I have 8n. 5, 2, and 3 is 10. Over here, 2n plus 2n is 4n plus 2n, that's 6n, plus 30. So now nothing else. There's no other common like terms. So we can go ahead and move our smaller variable over. So I subtract 6n from both sides. That'll give me 2n plus 10 equals 30. I now will move my number over by subtracting 10. That'll put the variable here on the one side of the equal sign, the number on the other side of the equal sign, and now we divide by two to get our answer of 10. Same thing, put together what can be put together before you move it. Three in and four in is seven in. Lose one, lose one more, you've lost two. N plus 2N is 3N, and 4N2 is 6. I now go ahead, I see 7N on the left, 3N on the right. I'm going to move the smaller variable in this situation. doesn't matter. You can move whoever, as long as you get all numbers on one side, all variables on the other. I like to get my variables on one side, then get my numbers on the other. 4N minus 2 equals, that goes away, 6. Add 2, add 2, 4N equals 8. We now divide by 4, divide by 4, n is 2. Okay, got to just, just use the distributive property here and then combine like terms. So we'll distribute through right here. That'll be 10n, take away 2, take away 2n, take away 2n. Distribute through here, 4n plus 6 plus 14. I now put together common things, 10n minus 2n is 8n, minus 2 more n is 6n, take away the number 2, equals over here I have 4n plus 20. 
I'm now going to go ahead and get all my variables on one side. So I subtract 4 in. That would give me 2 in, take away 2, equals 20. Move my number over. 2 in is 22. Divide by 2, divide by 2, n is 11. All right, how do I get rid of dividing by 5? How do you undo dividing by 5? You multiply by 5. So we multiply both sides by 5. 5s five would cancel. You're left with n equals negative 10. And it makes sense. Negative 10 divided by 5 equals negative 2. I know I'm correct. Here, need to distribute through. We get 24n plus 33. 15n plus, because 3 times 5n is 15n, and then 3 times 8 is 24. I'm going to move my smaller variable over is what I like to do. Just by chance, they're going to the left each time. Could go to the right. Doesn't really make any difference. Again, as long as you get all variables on one side, all numbers on the other. Now subtract 33, 9n equals negative 9, divide by 9, negative over positive is a negative answer. One more. Solve for n. Ooh, there's no numbers. No big deal. Do it the same way. I want to get the n by itself. So I want to move the y over, and then I'm going to move the w over. And then the final step is I'll divide by A to get in by itself. So let's move the Y over first. So we add Y to both sides. A N minus W, because that goes away. X plus Y. I'm now going to move the W over. So I add W to both sides. I get A times the N equals X plus Y plus the W. And the final step, let's get rid of multiplying by A, divide by A. And there's our answer. We can clean it up if we want x plus y plus w, all divided by a. There's 11 through 20.